Nashi from Healthy Living is Everything. So I'm just going to give you a quick update um, on where I've been, what I've been doing this um, last week. Today is Friday. Um, a couple months ago, I went to a neurologist appointment that my family doctor referred me to. Did some tests and then he said I have myotonic dystrophy. So I'm like, okay. Did my research. Stopped doing my research because it just seemed like a dead-end disease. On Tuesday, I went to a specialist that my the neurologist referred me to um, at Toronto General. My mom came with me for support, which I'm happy for that. Uh, when I got there, um, did a bunch of um, muscle tests. He's like, push forward, push backward, S go on your tippy toes, like just muscle, like to see my abilities and what was weak, what was strong. Um, the second test two hours later was they connected my muscles to a machine and gave my muscles um, sharp shocks not as painful as it sounds but um, it, it wasn't comfortable and then the last um, test three hours later was the killer they stuck a thick well it was I was connected to the machine again um, the m needle was connected to the machine and they stuck a thick needle in my muscles and um, kept on pushing in just I, I guess to see the levels of my muscle to see if it, whether it, what muscles on me were the weakest and what muscles were the strongest I'm assuming that's what it was now eventually the neurologists who analyzed the results came to see me so I wasn't really nervous because I knew what I had but this is how she positioned it she's like well you have muscular dystrophy I'm like, okay, I thought I had myotonic. She's like, yeah, it's a, uh, myotonic is part of that family, um, so you do have it, but there's no cure, um, there's no treatment, there's pretty much nothing at this point that could help with your, with this condition. So I'm like, okay. She's like, we'll put you on a list, so if a cure does come up or if treatment does get created, We'll contact you and let you know. But in the meantime, just try not to use your hands as much as possible. I'm like, I use my ha my hands for everything. To take care of my son, to cook, to clean, to drive. Um, she's like, just minimize certain things. Like, don't lift anything. Don't push anything. And if you are going to the gym, um, don't do any arm or, f or hand exercises. That will just irritate it. Continue with your um, your your legs because um, your legs are strong. It's just from your ankle to your toes is is weak. By the way, I can't even stand on my tippy toes or even stand on my heels. I didn't even know until he asked me to. But um, she says my legs are pretty strong. Um, so I'm like, okay. I wasn't expecting that news. Um, and she said that um, I could get cataracts or diabetes but based on you know the results she doesn't see that happening and she said the worst thing that could happen is I could end up being in a wheelchair might be in a wheelchair um, and the it could get worse it can get it could stabilize but I guess we have to wait and see how I feel so like I said, today's Friday. I've been in the house since Tuesday. Um, just to wrap my mind around this, I haven't been eating. I've been trying to eat, but I haven't been eating. Feeling just very down. Haven't been to the gym, but luckily I have a supportive gym partner who understands. Um, he's the he's the best. He's from Tai Chi Train. If you guys seen his videos, he's absolutely the best. He's a good person. And he's a good YouTuber too. Um, but I just want to give you an update of what's been going on. I will I will survive this. I will get back on track. Um, I just need some, some time. Um, but thanks for listening. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now.